very warm welcome indeed to the Rush Green Stadium here in the West Ham United training ground complex as we bring you live action of West Ham United under-21s against Manchester United under-21s. I'm your commentator Tyler Morris and alongside me this evening we have the West Ham United women's assistant manager Mr Jimmy Walker. How are you this evening? Yeah great Tyler, a little bit cold mate but yeah doing well thank you. Yeah big contrast, we were just saying off camera to the uh, temperatures that we uh, had in the summer, it was 40 degrees when I had did my first game here and now it's what, one zero degrees, it's, Honestly, a, it's a cold one. It feels like it's been winter for about 12 months. <laughs> we had the last <laughs> year has been winter, I can't remember them, them heady days of the warm. But I'd like to see him maybe eat a bit of the ground up and see what developed in front of him, but he saw a pie of foss and in a little bit of space, he's just got a bit too much on, he's gone a bit too high and couldn't feed him in, but uh, like I said, bright start from him as well. He's not had many games during to be fair, so it's brilliant to watch him tonight. This could be a chance for Mbappé down the left-hand well side of the penalty. It's now Equa with the first chance ah, and the first goal for West Ham United. He scored for the first team against Cambridge a few weeks ago. Back with the under-21s, back with a goal, and West Ham United take the lead. Yeah, that's an excellent goal. Well worked. You can see we was, we was on top. We kept it going. We kept it moving. You know, played some great stuff. Played positive. Played forward. Some great runs. You know, we're just watching the passing on the screen now. It's a great drive into the area, lovely movement, hint of offside maybe, but a lovely chop back from Divine and Bomber. We find Equo slots it in the bottom corner. Fantastic left foot finish straight across the goalkeeper. Good play, Sawyer drops deep. Equo drives in, gets a one-two. Oh, lovely play, great vision from Obama, you know. Sort of a reverse no-look pass, fantastic vision and where, uh, you know, knowledge of where your teammates are running. Getting in there first for West Ham United. Let's see what they can do from an offensive point of view. As the goal scorer looks to turn provider, oh. and he does. Fantastic play, really good. What a goal, Tyler. You were just speaking about Mboma. And there's his reply to you. A goal and a fine goal too. Fantastic goal. Do you know what? Looking back, I've not seen the replay yet, but he sets the press. You know, we're in a really good shape. We're a solid five at the back, a couple in that's just holding in there, letting Man United play in front of us a little bit. And they've smelt, you know, you can smell it sort of as a player like this. Here's the press. They take it out of their feet a little bit far, keep them one way. Divine runs at him, starts the press. The next one goes, the next one goes. I think Freddie Potts wins it in the middle, plays forward. And it's a fantastic run from Obama as well. What a fantastic cross. Is that from Sawyer? It's a great cross as well. Was it Equa? I think Equa it was well, Equa, so yeah. Involved He's to get a goal and assist for Equa. He looks a, he looks a good player. I said Equa as well got the press. They've all gone together. Look, D Divine Obama, Sawyer, and Equa's going in there. Look, he just picks out a lovely pass. It is, it's set up lovely to play some football, but the way they play and the positions they get in and take up. This could be another chance from Obama as he's looking to twist and turn. And the deflection made it tricky for the Manchester United number one, Vitek as it does go behind for the first corner of the evening for West Ham United. And the more it goes on, you know, you, you try and force something. You've, I mean, they've done right here for me. You, you want to go outside it because if you do lose it outside, it's not too bad. But even from outside it, we've won it and played so sharp. And it's brilliant again Nick from it. West Ham United. Oh. And if it was a goal, then it would have been incredible. I, got a bit, I said a bit too early, didn't I, Tyler? <laughs> Take the spirit out of them sort of as well, you know, because they, they've done really well. At 2-0 down, they could have gone under a little bit, but they've done really well, Man United. They're looking to get back into it here with Forson. It was an effort that was never going to trouble Heggy. I think I'll still save that one now, Tyler. It's a really good start for Man United. We've started a little bit sloppy, to be honest. They're really bright at the minute. Then goes the uh, corner away by Freddie Potts. Although there was a challenge in there and a challenge which has been deemed a foul. And Manchester United have been given an opportunity, a perfect opportunity from the spot at the start of this second half. As Hugo steps up against Heggy, sends him the wrong way and brings Manchester United well and truly back into it right at the start of the second half. And it's game on again at the Rush Green Stadium. Yeah, excellent penalty. Struck it really confidently, didn't he? Heggy wrong way, but no chance, I think, if, even if he goes that way. It's right in the bottom corner, pace, opened it up lovely. And now it is, like you say, it's game on, to be fair. We have got, we've got to go again now. We've got to dig deep. And this is why it's great. Football's great because we had all the play in the first off. We look so... And Oli Skoll's got a great delivery. You don't want to give him a couple of chances because I'm hazard, I guess, this is finding someone's head. Oh, commentator's curse. <laughs> there you go. He's got a third chance no, now. Oh, come on, Oli. <laughs> oh, oh, he's done brilliantly there. And he drills it across goal. Oh, and I don't think uh, Vitek was ready to uh, have it back again. 
Yeah, Devine's and Bomber's done great there. You know, he's back stick. He's nice and strong. He's, he's gone for the chest instead of nodding it back across. He kept his balance brilliant and smashed it across goal. You know, it's a good save, and I think the defender's asking his goalkeeper to get up. No foul for me at all. So he got across it really well. Like I said, shows some great pace to get across there as well. We've not mentioned him a lot tonight, Lucio. It's Forson goes from a long way out, in. and Heggy got there once and then twice. Fine save from the West Ham United number one. Yeah, I mean that's a great that's a great double save. You know, the first one can he get it away from the danger zone? Can he stick it? But for me, as soon as I don't know if I said it out loud, I'll be honest. But in my head, I'm going follow in, follow in. You know, you need your defenders to follow that in. But he's got up unbelievably and, and made an unbelievable spread save there. Man United have really started on the front foot because they've, they've spun it down the sides of us a little and got us off it a little bit. So everything was in front of us in the first half. Now they're working behind us a little bit, which makes it a lot tougher. This could be a chance. And it's a goal, in fact, for Manchester United, who have come back from two goals down. It was Gerardo who found himself not really with too much space on the near side of the penalty area. And once he slid it across, I wonder if there was another touch, whether it's his goal or not. I'm sure he won't mind because it's West Ham United 2, Manchester United 2. Yeah, I think the lads are, are asking for a, for an offside there, to be honest, because it's, it's, not, it's not great defending. You've let them turn the near stick and get a, get a cross, come shot across, and as someone touched it in a couple of yards out, is that what they're claiming for? I think for? it was Hugel just with his left foot. The Man United since then have really come forward, and really bombed on a lot. In goes the corner towards the near post, and the turnaround is complete. Not quite sure who got the final touch, but Manchester United won't really care, to be honest, because they've turned it around from two goals down. Looks like it might have been the substitute. Yeah, it's a disaster. Flick. Have to defend the corner better than that. There's two flicks. We've not made the first contact, and we've not made the second contact. Criminal, really, you know, when you're defending a corner. You can't make the first contact, you have to make the second, but you know, it's a, it's a decent flick and the boy stuck his head on the second one as well, but you know, that, that, that can't happen for me. There can't be two headers in, inside our six yard box. Pierre Forson. Freddy Potts will go direct towards the far side, well taken down by Chesters. And it was a great ball too. Oh, so close to West Ham United, still might be there, Volker Flex. Blocked and then cleared. I tell you what, I've not seen that, but that's, you know, one ball down the side. We've been lacking that. We've been lacking that turn of pace down the side. It's a great ball down the side. Lovely cut back. I think the goalie saves this. I'm giving the goalkeeper the credit there. That's a fantastic save. You know, I think that's hitting the ball and going in.